tales from a man who can only be described as bloodthirsty. Look, can I have a drink? I'm thirsty. First, where did you hide that body? Body? What body? I never laid a hand on anybody's body. Why would I want to hurt her? I barely knew her. I mean, I hardly knew her. You knew her all right. Well enough to kill her. You went berserk, right? Insane! I'm as sane as you are. Saner. Please, can I have a drink of water? We know you killed her and disposed of the body. You're a homicidal mad dog murderer. Hey! I think they found her! Easy, Joe, easy. She was so beautiful. Such a tragedy. Here she comes. Oh, car seat. Who parked her car in a drink? You did. Who saw her last? Well, you did. Who killed her? Oh. You did. But I told you I wouldn't do a thing like that. Just because I happened to be out with her and I was the last person who... Oh. Now, wait a minute. You don't have anything on me. No, but I think we got something on your rug. What does that look like to you, Sean? Blood. Fresh blood. Hard blood. That's nothing. She just cut herself while we were having our little fight. Well, it wasn't really a fight. It... Oh, come on now, please. How many more hours are you going to go on like this? Why would I want to kill a woman? Any woman? I haven't even murdered my maid. You think you've been through something? Now you're really going to start to sweat. I'm going to sweat. Can I at least have a drink of water? We know what you did. You made that poor girl fall in love with you, didn't you? Uh -huh. Didn't you? No. Why did you do it? Why? But Why? I didn't. I keep telling you and telling you. I didn't. I phoned my wife at the hotel and the switchboard was drying out and the chicken put me through to the wrong number. To her. To Dee Dee. You made her come all the way from Hollywood to plead with you to do the right thing by no. her. The manly, no, the didn't. gentlemanly thing. No, I had you laughed at her. You no. even put her up this love nest of yours. Oh, no. She pleaded with you, begged you. But you wouldn't listen. And when she threatened to tell your wife and the world, you killed her. No, I didn't do it. I wouldn't do it. No, no. You carried her down to the lake. And you put her in a boat. And rode out to deep water. You made sure she'd never be seen again. First you tied an anchor to it. Then you threw her in. It sank down. And down. And down. And down. She tried to get away. But I caught her. Then I choked her. Then I hit her with a poker. Then I stabbed her. Then I tied rocks to her. And I threw her in the lake. The lake. The lake. The lake. One leg's enough. Well, I guess that wraps this one up. Huh? Did you get the whole confession down? Confession? Confession of what? For killing Diddy, you murderer! Ah, get him out of here! Hey, he just confessed! Hey, fellas, they got a confession. Get out of here. 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 Wow, you really must have been brainwashed. I'll fear Zane. Okay, close the door now. See that everything is all right. Hey, me. Mead! 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 What?
Police cars heavily armed, and Meade is considered unbalanced, cunning, and dangerous. At least he didn't say homicidal. And homicidal. Car 17, proceed north to point O. Car 14, proceed south, the intercepted intersection. Well, what a way to feel wanted. Throw a scare into him with a couple of tracers. They think I don't know how to shake him. Now, her they sure know how to shake me. More fuzz in my tail than a French poodle. Me, will you? <laughs> we lost him. No, we didn't. There are three police cars following us. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> You happy little smog maker, you. Oh. To operate, hold firmly in throwing hand, then pull ring C, and oh, darn tape. And throw. <laughs> throw! At once! At once, that's now! Oh. <laughs> Oh boy, ceiling zero and I'm not even up there. 